Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we have uh, 65 to 68 today. Nice, sunny, warm, uh, cloudy for your Saturday morning. Later Saturday, some rain coming in into Sunday, uh, and it'll be about 60 or so. Uh, Cody Johnson on sale at noon today, Ticketmaster.com. I just have to tell you, the pre-sale was out of control. Yay. Uh, yeah, salute to heroes. Get your tickets today at noon. And uh, remember, a week from this coming Tuesday, so that'll be May 2nd, is our free show. We want you to get a glimpse of the Catholic Health Amphitheater at Bald Hill. Maybe you've never been. It's a chance to bring the family, whoever you want. It's a free show. No ticket needed. It's just $10 to park a full car load. You come on in. You could stand in the pit. You could sit on the seats. You could sit on the grass. Whatever you want to do. And Jackson Dean is doing a full band headlining show. We've got an Ario Speedwagon tribute band. Uh, we've got a Party 105 act. DJ Deuce spins. This is Tuesday, May 2nd. It all starts at 5, 5 p.m. to come in, and the music starts at 5 with Deuce, and the first act is at 6.30. So 6.30, first act, Jackson Dean on about 8.15, 8.30 uh, in the evening. Don't miss it. Going to be a fun, fun night to open the season, Candy. And Oh, it sounds like a good time, absolutely. Yeah, very excited about it. Um, oh, so... Uh, yesterday, Leah went to uh, Virginia, Bush Gardens. She flew the coop. Williamsburg, Virginia. There's about 100 kids, two coach buses uh, full of band and chorus from her school that went down to uh, Williamsburg for what's called Music in the Parks. And today, they will be heading over to Bush Gardens. They do music competitions. There's an award ceremony. And then they are able to enjoy Bush Gardens the rest of the afternoon into the evening. I've never been to Bush Gardens, have you? Uh, no, no, I have not. Um, I can tell you if you're thinking of driving to Bush Gardens and leaving on a coach bus at 10 a.m., you will not get there during a work day till about 8 p.m., Candy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it took them about 10 hours. Now, they did stop. I have Life 360 on my kid, of course. So of I'm course. watching I'm watching where the bus is. They stopped uh, in northern Delaware uh, at a uh, rest stop for about an hour. They let the kids get some food and drink and go to the bathroom and whatever. Then they continued on their way. That was about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It, they didn't arrive at the hotel till after 8 o'clock. And what's crazy is I'm watching the Life 360. They hit Fredericksburg, Virginia at about 6 p.m. Oh. And Fredericksburg on the map is not far from Williamsburg. It looks like, I don't know, half I hour. I had relatives that used to live in Fredericksburg. It's not that far. No, 20 minutes to a half hour, it looks like. And it took them two hours in the to traffic. get... Oh, my God. I hate that traffic there more than I hate the traffic here. Really? It's awful. It looked it on Life 360, I will yeah, tell you Really that. bad. Poor things. Uh, they must have been exhausted. Well, so Leah had a great time. We were uh, texting back and forth all day. Uh, she was sending me all these games on the uh, the Apple uh, Game Pigeon app. So we're, we're playing games while she's on the bus, and... Um, we're talking, we're chatting and stuff. And she uh, sat next to one of her best friends and she said that she took like an hour long nap at one point on the trip. And yeah, they had, a, you know, they're kids, yeah, right? They're kids. They, they could they could handle it. Yeah. You and they, I, they would be taking us to the emergency Oh, room. no chance. No chance. I'm Ten hours on. on a bus. Oh. Yeah. Uh, with, with, a, with about an hour in between to stretch their legs. But. Oh. Yeah, so they're there, and uh, so they have, they have like a five o'clock wake up call uh, oh. this morning. Yeah, so they've, they, but let, let me put it in perspective. They are already right now at the park. Wow. Yeah, they they had a five oh, o'clock. Oh, young. Oh my God, five o'clock wake up call, six thirty breakfast on the bus at seven. 
That was the call this morning. Very nice. Uh, yeah. So uh, how many chaperones? Is that the right term? Do they have with them? So they are not allowed to have parent chaperones because the chaperones have to be uh, from the school because. You cannot have a parent mishandle someone else's child, and then all of a sudden somebody wants to sue the district. Right. There's or, no idea. Right. I right. Understand so that. they have to be trained and working for the district. And then when they got down there, there are security guards that guard their floors in the hotel that they hire from oh. a special organization that primarily deals with kids' school trips. That's very interesting. Yeah. Um, so, they, I mean, they have this on lockdown. I mean, absolute lockdown. Did I tell you how they uh, everyone brought their luggage to school before they got on the bus? Yeah. They had to drop their luggage in a special room, and school officials with a police presence had to search every bag. They went through every suitcase wow. of every child. Um, if you brought your own water bottle, not like a Poland Spring closed bottle, but your own right, personal, like I carry around with me all the time, they would che- they had to make sure it was empty. You could fill it with water at the school. It could not come pre-filled because they needed to know what was in the water bottle. Yep. Uh, so yeah, though no, they they are like they're on point. I love you it. Know, I love it. Makes me feel good about yeah. Uh, you should. What's going on? And now on. she yep. comes back tomorrow. Yeah, believe it or not. So they have a full day. They're out all day and night, and they get on a bus at 9 a.m. tomorrow and take the trip back. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe they won't hit much traffic on the way back. They, usually, yeah, they I mean, probably won't at, yeah, on, on a Saturday, Saturday at 9 a.m. going the yeah, other way. In, yeah, until you get to uh, New Jersey trying to cross into uh, Staten Island. Then then, then you'll it'll take them four hours to get home from Staten Island. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, um, yeah. but uh, yeah, they are. Uh, good they're ha- good for her. Yeah, it's good to get away, you know, and come back. Yeah, yeah they're having a good time. Um, oh, something else, co- completely unrelated, but I wrote it down because I wanted to remember to tell you. I was at BJ's the other day, and I walk in, and in my BJ's, there, uh, they do like clothing right at the front of the store. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. And I always look, you know, I want to see what's up. And I notice shorts that look just like the ones I like to wear. And then I get closer and I see they are the exact (laughs) shorts that I wear that I can't find anywhere. Really? Yeah. So they're Lee, they're like Lee Wrangler shorts and they come with a belt and they like, they're really good and... They come in all different colors, you know, khaki and black yes. and what, whatever, all different, you know. Okay. So I can't find these anywhere because all the stores that used to carry them are out of business or closing. Candy, I was like a kid in a candy store. I bought eight pairs of eight shorts. Eight pairs? Well, four you are of, set. Four of them in black. Four black pairs. Two wow. in khaki and wow. two in like this checkerboard that I... Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, and here's the best part. I have about seven or eight pairs that I currently wear. These eight pairs are going in the closet. My goal is to not even wear them for years and years and years, Candy. Not even on the cruise you're going on? I'm going to bring one or two new pairs for the cruise. Yes, I will bring a couple of new pair. But you don't even understand. I- I'm thinking about going back and getting more. I mean, wow! Because I did what that with happens? a lipstick once. That was they weren't going to make it anymore. It was discontinued. Yeah, and I ran to every store I could to buy up that color. See, it was crazy. Well, that's my thought. Is that you know if, I can't find these anywhere. BJ's the only place I could find them. Now, what if they stop making them? I want these shorts uh, literally for, uh, you know. Well, you better stay at the same weight. Yeah, well, You're gonna have that's... enough shorts for the rest of your life. <laughs> that's my hope. I'm still the same waist. I'm yes, at... in 20 years, I hope it's the, they still fit. Uh, so yeah, I bought eight pairs. I may next time I'm there, I may uh, if they still have them, I may get more. I just tuck them away, put them away, put them away, and then I got them for See, if whenever. I have something new. I want to wear it right away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, always. Well, I, I'm gonna bring 
probably a, a brand new khaki, a new black, a new like checkerboard one. I'll bring like three new ones on the cruise. I still have from last year. I have ones that still look brand new that are hardly worn. And so, they're the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Oh. Yeah. Very excited. This is what uh. what makes me happy in life. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Hey, when you yep. love something and you find it, uh, that's great. I mean, absolutely. Now you're set. Um, speaking of loving something and finding it, tomorrow, 11 a.m., Boot Barn. This is Saturday, 11 a.m., Boot Barn, the grand opening, Bohemia Sunrise Highway. We I want have... pictures of merchandise. You might have to buy something for me. I will take pictures of the store, but even more so, for those two hours from 11 to 1, we have pick your tickets every 10 minutes, a winner every 10 wow. minutes. They will get to choose. We have Morgan Wallen tickets. Wow, Hello. wow, wow. We've Darius, Luke Bryan, Sam Hunt. I mean, you name it. Cody Johnson, we got it all. Um, tomorrow, Boot Barn, Sunrise Highway, Bohemia, 11 a.m. Uh, oh, I gonna love be a new pair of boots. Mm, well, I will take some pictures. pictures. I will. Uh, going to be uh, nice today, 68, sunny tomorrow. A little cloud, rain not till the evening, and Sunday some more rain Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.